Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to Health Issues 2010. I'm your host, Chris Sylvain. We are so excited that you've come and, and, and share to share with us today. We have, believe me, a terrific program for you. It's about something that is so special and it affects most people. It really, really does. And it deals with the subject of pharmacy. And specifically, we're here to talk to you about geriatric pharmacy, a pharmacy dealing with the elderly and geriatric pharmacotherapy. And we have three special guests that's uh, here with us today. And believe me, they've come down here and uh, uh, they've come to share with us about uh, a convention that they're going to be having, you know, uh, very, very soon, but particularly just about geriatric pharmacy. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We have Mr. Uh, Charles uh, Futch. Hey, welcome, Mr. Futch. We Excited to have you, Ms. Laquan Fields. She's um, Senior Center Director of New Orleans Council on Aging. Mr. Futch is the, pres uh, is the um, President of Louisiana Chapter of the American Society of Consultant right. Pharmacists. And we also have Ms. Claudia Schlossberg. She's the Director of Advocacy and Policy of ASCP. Welcome. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you very hey, much. Well, we're for really, us. yeah, really excited to have you here. And um, we're here talking about um, Campaign 2011, but more than anything, um, uh, uh, Claudia, tell us a little bit about the American Society of Consultant Pharmacists. Who, who are you guys? Okay, first of all, I want to thank you for having us. It's really just a pleasure to be here in New Orleans, and it's also a pleasure that uh, the American Society of Consultant Pharmacists is holding its 39th annual convention here, wow. November uh, 17th. Uh, through, um, I guess, the, the 22nd. Great. Um, so we're very pleased to be here. The American Society of uh, Consultant Pharmacists is an organization that represents the interests of pharmacists who serve seniors, who focus on senior care pharmacy. Senior care, okay. We have members who um, uh, practice in nursing homes, members who are in assisted living facilities, and many members now who are working with seniors in the community. Some work in retail settings, others have their own practice. It's really a variety, but the main focus is on senior care. So the focus is on those who are, say, 65 and older, 55 and older, or I'm not there yet, but. <laughs> <laughs> we all will be soon. We all will be We soon. all will be. Right, right, yes. right. But they have special needs, and, 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 and so there's, um, this organization is really focused uh, on them. That's right. Um, as uh, Charles can explain, because he's mm -hmm. the pharmacist, pharmacist here, uh, seniors uh, uh, metabolize and take drugs differently. They affect seniors differently than uh, younger people. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot more chronic disease. They take more drugs. Seniors take more drugs than anyone else. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for a variety of reasons, it may also be um, uh, physical or cognitive problems. They have difficulty maybe taking the drugs as they're supposed to take them, or there may be cost issues. They can't afford their drugs. There are lots of problems that seniors can have in taking their medications. Medications do a tremendous amount of good, and right. they're very, very important. Okay. But if not if they're not appropriate medications or if they're not taken appropriately mm -hmm. or they're reacting with other things that the senior is experiencing, might be nutritional issues, other medication issues, there can be some really serious consequences. Wow, that is so awesome that you guys are so focused on that because those are those in the community that are least able to take care of themselves right. many times. Now, so you have this campaign, Campaign 2011. Tell us about the campaign. Well, Campaign 2011 is a, a, a new initiative of ASCP and it's really designed to raise awareness of medication-related problems mm -hmm. in the elderly and help it's really an outreach campaign to seniors, to uh, um, organizations like the organization that Laquan works for, uh, to other pharmacists, to other healthcare professionals, to raise awareness that we have a problem, there's a uh, medication risk in the elderly, and that pharmacists, particularly pharmacists who have uh, specialized training in geriatrics, can assist not only to prevent those problems, but to resolve them if they're happening. So tell us about the, pro there's some problems out there. It's not a, 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 a happy world, in other words. It's not a perfect world. We have issues that are going on. So this campaign is to address some of those issues. Right, I don't think most people would realize that uh, medication-related problems cost this uh, country, our healthcare system, about $200 billion wow. a year. That 
uh, burden, if you will, that financial burden is greater than the cost of heart disease, it's greater than the cost of uh, diabetes and Alzheimer's disease combined. So uh, we spend as much on taking, trying to address the problems caused sometimes by medications or lack of appropriate medications as we do in the, the actual cost of the medications themselves. So what ASCP is devoted to and what we really feel passionately about is promoting the appropriate safe and effective use of medications in the elderly. The appropriate, safe, and effective use. And so you guys are basically, you know, hey, calling all of the resources, calling the troops and everybody possible, policymakers, government officials, um, institutions, hospitals, drugstores, or whatever, pharmacists, to focus on this issue because it's so huge. That's correct. Um, again, another uh, uh, fact. Um, you know, we, we, we really want seniors to be able to maintain their independence and live as long as they can, as independently as possible. But about 25% of nursing home admissions are caused or are related to medication problems. About over 25% of hospitalizations in the elderly are the result of a medication-related problem. Now, it could be a range of problems. It could be um, the older adult uh, was taking the wrong medication, or they had a medication that reacted with something, but it could also be that they weren't able to maintain their medication regimen, taking their pills every day when they're supposed to for a variety of other reasons. And that causes um, health care problems, and can re they, some of them can be serious and life-threatening. Uh, about 100,000 seniors die every year from medication-related problems that are, that are fatal. So this is a problem that we feel very passionately about. Yes. We know that pharmacists can help, uh, pharmacists can intervene, and many of these problems can be um, eliminated. Wow. Hey, as they said, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> we have a problem. Now, now, Charles, tell us a little bit, and you, you folk, you're, you're a consultant pharmacist, and that's sure. your specialty, American Society of Consultant Pharmacists. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, specifically, what we wanted to address today is senior uh -huh. care pharmacy, but, yeah. but consultant pharmacists do job in a variety of settings, but, mm -hmm. uh, and I won't go into that because we wouldn't have enough time to cover it all. Okay. But specifically in a senior care setting, uh, the focus in the, in the past, uh, mm -hmm. s many years has been in the long-term care industry but okay. we're seeing a, a, a need for this as, as Claudia uh, so uh, well pointed out mm -hmm. uh, you're looking at a population of the American society that uses more medications than anybody else mm -hmm. and you're looking at a special population that has different kidney function different okay. body compositions okay. they because of those cons those specific uh, issues, mm -hmm. they do not react to medications the same way, uh, maybe even you or I, and we're not, okay. we're not that young, but That's we're right. not that old either. <laughs> but, and I think I have you by a few years. <laughs> but even, even like we would react to it, for, for those various reasons, because of kidney function and hepatic liver function, and, and uh, they will not clear medications as readily. That means okay. dosages may not be appropriate. The okay. same dosages that we would use in a young adult certainly okay. wouldn't be appropriate for a geriatric adult. Okay. For a, a geriatrician, someone 80 something or even 70 something years old or 90 years old okay. taking some of this medication is exposed to more risk from the medications because the side effects are more prominent because okay. of the fact that they're not clearing it as from their system as readily as okay. as a younger individual would okay poses a lot of problems for them in addition to that since it's not clearing there's also a higher risk for interactions to take place 